I've had my hands on a fair few Game Boys in the past and only a couple managed to actually play the original cartridges. And usually with these what the fake episodes I go over to Alibaba or the Chinese stores to find fake consoles. But this one here I actually found from a reliable source known as funnyplaying.com. And this is the Game Box, a fake Game Boy Advance SP that can play the cartridges. Now this one came in at $42. So I've got it, I haven't opened it up we're gonna see what it can do and we're going to compare it to the original Game Boy Advance SP so here it is this is the packaging and to be fair it's not bad packaging I can't understand it because I think it's all in Russian but hey it's packaging which is not too bad it seems okay but I'm guessing that's its display 320 by 240 and I have no idea what the rest is. I don't even know. Okay, 800 milliamp battery. Uh, but let's just jump right in and see what the game box has to offer. Now, what, what I'm excited about is that it can play your Game Boy Advance cartridges. So here it is. Looks like we got a red slash burgundy color. Uh, you get an adapter. And I think that is it. We've got a manual here. I'm guessing this is in Russian as well. Yep, all of it, so I can't read that. Here's your adapter, which is the, is that the original? Yeah, so it's got the original uh, Game Boy Advance adapter, so your SP adapter will probably work in this. And here is the console itself. So it's very, very light. The plastic used obviously isn't going to be as good as the original Advance, but, you know, it's it's somewhat durable, I can imagine. They can see the stick. I don't know if you can see this. The sticker is already coming out. I could probably peel that off. There, yep, there it goes. So there goes this. <laughs> there goes the sticker. Oh, no, that looks absolutely terrible now. Okay, right. So let's look around. You've got your standard SP ports there for your charging and your trading. The shoulder buttons are very, very clicky. You've got your volume control there. Quite stiff, but I do like that. Uh, your on-off switch, and then your cartridge slot, and then your standard battery compartment here. Let's open it up. And you can see here, has that got a screen protector on? Or is that just a really dirty screen? Oh no, that is a screen protector. That's nice. Let's take that off. Alrighty, so there is the game box. And it's looking very, like this is without doubt a replica. Like, they've taken everything into consideration. So if I pull over my original Game Boy Advance SP here, you can see this thing is bang on. From a distance, you would not be able to tell which is which. Even the grips are almost identical on the back and the sides. It's exactly the same size on the back. Again, identical, even the sticker, even the screw ports. I'm wondering if they're using the same shells. Probably. That's interesting. And on the side again, the on off switch. So let's turn this on and see what. Okay, so that screen is very bright. Straight off the bat. All right, okay, so let's chuck in a cartridge. I have Super Mario Advance here. Let's see. Oh, that. Felt a bit weird, but hey, let's uh Guys, this screen This screen is very bright. I think it's brighter than the actual I don't know if I've got battery in this, I'm hoping I do. That I don't. So hopefully I can get a shot of you now showing you the two screens side by side. And I'm 100% certain this screen 
is considerably brighter than the original Game Boy Advance SP. Obviously, you can modify the SP to get a brighter backlit screen, but that's going to cost you money and time. So, I'm going to play, I'm going to zoom in for you, hopefully, you can see here, let's focus up. All right, let's turn up the volume. Oh no. I'm impressed with this screen, guys. It's playing fine. Resolution wise, like I'm not seeing any major differences in the screen there. It's just at the moment build quality. Now, let's see if this can actually play like original uh, Game Boy Color games. That would be cool. But. I don't know why, but that sounds too good to be true. So I'm chucking in Turok here. What a game. Let's see if it can play. That's a shame. So it looks like it doesn't play Game Boy Color games. I'm going to try one last thing here. And if the Game Boy Color games doesn't work, I doubt this will work. So this is basically a micro SD card adapter into a Game Boy Advance cartridge, but this is specifically built for the Digi Retro Boy, so I don't think this will work. But that will be incredible if it did, because that's all it needs is an SD card slot, and this thing would be an absolute steal. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna work neither. So, unfortunately, the Game Boy Color games, the SD card adapter doesn't work, but your original Game Boy Advance cartridges will, and basically, what you're paying for here is a, a, a replica Game Boy Advance SP with admittedly cheaper build quality, but a much brighter screen. The audio, the, the the speaker inside, you know, it's pretty average. It's not great, but it's not bad. The games play nicely, the screen's bright, you've got five different brightness settings. Not bad, but again, for the same price, you could probably buy an original Game Boy Advance SP. The only advantage that this has is that it's got a better screen already built in. So there you have it, a quick look at the game box. A replica Game Boy Advance SP that can play your Game Boy Advance cartridges. Pretty sweet if you ask me. Admittedly, I would have liked it around the $30 mark or maybe even 25 bucks, that would have been real cool. And if it could play original Game Boy Color cartridges as well, that would have been even better. What would be nice if Gamebox put in a micro SD adapter and allowed you to play ROMs as well. So you could play ROMs and cartridges just like the Digi Retro Boy, which I've reviewed in the past. So there you have it. There is a look at the fake Game Boy Advance SP here. You know, not bad. You tell me what you think in the comments below. Is it worth the $42 to pick up? You know, some people want to play with a handheld that's a replica rather than play with their collection. So if you're a collector and you don't really want to wear and tear your original Advance SP, you can pick up the game box and you could play on a replica console right there with the same nostalgic feels. But this thing like is identical. Look at this. 
Let me know, as per usual, I've got a fake PlayStation 2 over there that I am gonna be unboxing soon, so fake consoles is your jam. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.